Okay, welcome to this uh, video where I'm going to give you an interpretation of the regression results you have sent me and I do hope I've remembered to include all the results that have been sent. I think I've done so. Um, uh, all of you have who have sent me the results within the within the timeline. Uh, and let me say that some of you have sent me the whole work a whole whole work requirement. I'm not able to <laughs> provide you feedback at this point on the whole work requirement. I'm only able to provide you feedback uh, on your regression model. Uh, I think that was everything I um, uh, thought about saying. Uh, things are a bit uh, busy at the moment, but uh, yeah, I want to do this video now so you have it uh, in good time before uh, the submission date which i've extended then to monday at 12. so yeah uh, uh one of you has sent me, have sent me these results and also in uh, and included some questions and, and i will try to answer those questions as well um, um, so the student writes, I'm still a bit confused to, uh, to interpret part three, even after seeing the second video, please kindly find attached input. I'm grateful if you can help me understand. And let me, let me just say, uh, at once also that for everyone, probably most of you feel a bit confused because I mean, this is really, really new, uh, doing a regression analysis is, is very advanced. So you are doing really advanced. Uh, things in your work requirement, which is, I mean, is really impressive. And I hope you learn, you learn a lot, but, but I, uh, uh, as you will, uh, as you probably notice this, this, this course starts from, from scratch and goes all the way up to uh, regression analysis. Um, and it's really applied. So we don't go so much into theoretical statistics. I wish I could, but I don't have the time to, to do that. So, so, so we're really applied. And I mean, interpreting regression analysis is hard. Uh, it's, uh, it's confusing. And that's why I want to do this video and want you to send me regression results so I can help you interpret. Okay, but the students ask, some of my scale variables, age and income, are free answers and the value uh, range is very broad. Uh, is it a problem when interpreting the results? Uh, well, it, it, it uh, like per se, it's not, not a problem, but it might be a problem. Um, and if we look at, uh, if we look at the, the, the age variable, the lowest is 40, the highest is 80. This is the null log data. Uh, and I mean, uh, a year is a year, so that's no problem. But uh, if you look at the income variable, it goes from minus uh, 110,000 to up to six and a half million actually. So this is more of a problem in the sense that having negative income is a bit strange. Uh, and uh, I mean, six million, six and a half million, and very few people earn six and a half million. So the highest and lowest, I would, I would definitely do some recoding of this variable, but uh, this is register data. <laughs> I, I understand that you don't work with, have worked with register data before, and I haven't showed you how to recode kind of register data, uh, data. So, 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 uh, it's not a problem as such, but uh, if you were going to do the work on register data, I would, I would, I would, I would de definitely show you more about recoding. But uh, but uh, uh, it's it's really really smart to ask this question. Let me say that to the student who have asked this question. It's a uh, it shows uh, uh, it shows asking this questions question shows that you have a lot of knowledge. Uh, and that you really, um, yeah, you have come a far way. So asking this knowledge as such is really impressive. Let me just say that. Um, and I hope my answer was uh, okay. Uh, what is the reason to make dummy variables for nominal variables and how uh, shall it be interpreted? And I have two nominal variables and I made dummy, uh, made dummy as syntax below. So uh, the student has coded the gender into uh, from zero, uh, the, the uh, original gender from one to zero and two to one. Uh, and also, uh, 
I think this is yeah this is whether they, they they live alone or not so this is the partner status well the thing is uh, uh, that uh, uh, the thing is that you a nominal variable like a regression analysis is based or linear regression analysis is based on an assumption that all the variables you include this is a theoretical uh, argument for for why we have to make it into dummy variables uh, linear regression analysis is based on uh, on on the variables being no, uh, uh, normal distributed uh, and I mean uh, nominal variable and also scaled in the sense that it that they are on the uh, are on the interval level at least that's why I say that we use often ordinal variables but we say they are almost at the interval level so we kind of we break the uh, break that assumption but we, we we do it anyway because we are aware of the fact that we are doing so and and we say that we're almost at the ordinal level but we cannot say that we or uh, interval level sorry we say that the ordinal uh, variables are almost at the interval level but we cannot say that about nominal variables uh, they are nominal they you can only uh, you can only say that uh, a, a man and woman is different that you can give people different values but you cannot say that a man is more a woman than a woman and a man is more a man than a woman it, it doesn't make sense so this the 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 uh, making the nominal variables uh, so nominal variables as such cannot be used in a regression but if we make them into a dummy then we can use them so the dummy variable is really a kind of the exception from the from the rule so to speak uh, and then you can look at the difference between the zero and the one. So when you go from the low value to the high value, when you go from zero to one, what uh, what, what what is the difference between men and women, for example? If, if if men is zero and women are one, what is the difference between men and women? So that's really the the, the argument for doing dummy variables. Okay, but let's uh, look at uh, the results this student has sent. Uh, well, uh, the deep end variable is life satisfaction. It goes from one not satisfied to four very satisfied. So it's uh, the the deep end variable measures a life satisfaction where high being uh, satisfied or very satisfied is uh, the high value. And uh, the student have also included education going from uh, no education, which is zero to eight, which is a PhD. Uh, so this, in this uh, regression analysis, education is used as a scaled variable. So it, uh, one is no education and then and zero is no education. I would guess one is is that you have like uh, have like uh, the yeah the like you are low ed, low educated or you have like you have like. Um, uh, you are have education below secondary school, and I would say two is is or you have primary school. Yeah, one is primary school, two is probably secondary school, uh, three is probably high school, four is probably uh, low uh, um, uh, low degree or something. Yeah, you you see you see my point. It it, it it's used as a as a as a as a as a as a scale. I would, I would, uh, ideally, I would, I would also make this into a dummy variable because I would probably be more interested in looking at the difference between those who have a high uh, education from a university high school versus those who have do not have a higher education. But this works perfectly fine. Let me just say, it's also important for you to know that with this uh, this work requirement, it it's for you to to get training. So uh, things shouldn't be perfect i mean it's it's totally okay that it's not perfect um uh, but and but i mean this is this is so as close to perfect as it can get entirely and the questions are asked in the forefront are is really really good i mean uh, i'm happy when i get to these kind of questions <laughs> because they are really really smart questions uh, 
Uh, so to the student who have asked me the questions and done this regression analysis, uh, super, super work. Um, age is measured okay from 40 to 80, so it's measured in year. Income, as I said, is a bit difficult, but okay. Uh, men is zero, women is one. And then you have unmarried living without a partner and unclear marital status uh, living with a co. And this is also kind of a bit difficult because it goes from zero to eight, but I think the student has, uh, oh yeah, no, it's actually not, yeah, uh, well, this is this is actually not a dummy variable, uh, because because if this was going to be a dummy variable, then it, ha it, ha it only has to have the values one or zero. So you could say that those who are, for example, you can code all those who have who live alone or is unmarried to zero. Uh, and then everyone who is co-inhabiting, they, they can be co uh, coded to one, for example. Because it doesn't give meaning to, to interpret this as a, as a, as a, as a, the partner status cannot be a, you know, this is really now coded as a, as a, as a, as a, uh, ordinal variable or uh, almost at the interval level so it, it's it's about it's a bit hard to interpret when you do it like this but we'll we'll make it we'll make it a go anyway okay what does this uh, bivariate regression uh, tell me well it tells me that when i when you go one scale unit up on education the life satisfaction increases with zero because there's a dot there zero dot or point zero three zero scale units so the higher educated people are more satisfied with life than those who are lower educated and um, and i mean uh, i have a phd so I'm, I'm i'm among the really really satisfied people whereas people uh, on uh, on uh, who have do, do not, like have no education are 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 not so satisfied so it really shows that on mean people who have a higher education is more satisfied uh, and this can be generalized to the population because uh, it's significant and i mean in this inst instance in this example the constant actually also can be interpreted substantially because uh, zero is no education so this is the mean life satisfaction for those who have no education or 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 uh, and preschool edu no education and preschool education so it's it's the mean life satisfaction for those with no uh, no um uh, education and if you look at the scale going from one to four i mean since it's the mean for for this group is 3.3 i mean everyone is pretty satisfied aren't they uh, because you are, I mean, you're closer to the four very satisfied uh, than you are to one not satisfied. So it's, it's people are quite satisfied, but uh, this is the mean value for those who have no education. And it in, and, and when you go one up on education, uh, it increases by 0 0.03 scale units. Okay, so generally, uh, I mean, uh, people who are who have a higher education and is more satisfied and then uh, so that's also the interpretation for this uh, it goes somewhat down but not much when you control for age and when you call control for income and even though uh, income is a bit uh, i would do something about income uh, it uh, given that you have the negative and you have the six million, six and a half million, and all that stuff, it, it you can you you can interpret this uh, 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 this um, regression coefficient substantially uh, anyway, and also with 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 age. Uh, and the only thing that uh, makes me uh, uh, wonder is that it's a really really high, it's a really really large coefficient. So I'm. Uh, and that makes me wonder because I mean, uh, given the fact that that uh, income uh, has such a high range, and it just and the uh, and the deep end variable just goes from one to four, uh, having this larger coefficient uh, tells me there's.
probably either this is wrong or there is something really really strange about the yeah there is something uh, a bit strange uh, about this so I, 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 I yeah but anyway it, it works uh, it, it, it works uh, but for yeah if this was a master thesis I would or something I would I would I would help uh, the student who have done this to uh, and anyone else of you who have gotten these results to look closer on income actually and do a recoding but I mean the student know this uh, self has has a is is aware of this and it's it's, it's so I mean smart student <laughs> very smart student okay uh, great and so yeah uh, as we go one scale unit up on H the uh, life satisfaction increases with 0 0.003 scale units. So what does it mean? Well, older people are more happy. And also uh, with income, uh, even though this, um, I'm, a, I'm a bit, uh, I, I, I'm not quite sure this is correct. Um, it, it shows that the, those who earn more are more happy with life, which is, it, which is not, uh, which is not, um, which is not uh, really, uh, I mean, uh, that makes sense. And it can be, gen both can be generalized to the population because it's significant. And I mean, this is the effect of age controlled for education and income. So, I mean, you, you uh, and when I say that you control for, that means that you only let, let age vary. You, 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 you compare the people with the same education and the same income, and you only lo look at uh, at the uh, at the differences according to age. So you say that okay, th this group has the same education, they have the same income, but their age varies. Well, then this is the effect of age when we control for education and income, and that also goes for this model where we include uh, partner status, which is I said is not a dummy. It's not recorded as a dummy, but uh, anyway, uh, and but gender is coded as recorded as a dummy. And what does it show? Well, this is the difference between men and women, uh, ladies and gentlemen. This is because uh, men are zero, women are one. So it means that control that 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 uh, women actually or men are a bit when you go one up go from on, on on gender you go from zero to one on gender you go from men to women you, uh, life satisfaction increases with 0 0.057 scale units and it can be generalized to the population because it's significant and you control for all the included variables in the model as i said to many of you uh, the constant cannot be Oh, sorry. The constant in this model can be interpreted substantially because zero is a valid value on education, but on this one, uh, income, yeah, income is actually as it's measured, it, it is. But but age is not a uh, valid uh, value because it starts at forty. So if it if this was supposed, if you were going to interpret this substantially, you ha would have to recode forty to zero, forty one to one, forty two to two, and so on and so on. To, to get uh, uh, to be able to interpret the constant in a in a meaningful way and the same in this model so yeah this was the first model overall really really uh, nicely done um, but I would look at uh, income uh, a bit more and this also partner status uh, is not uh, coded as a dummy variable uh, it has to be coded as a dummy variable to be interpreted in a substantial way but as I said the student uh, ask questions about this, which uh, which shows uh, uh, which is really really good and shows uh, a lot of understanding. But of course, I haven't uh, we haven't been discussing this so much in lecture, so I I oh, I, I, I absolutely understand the, the questions, and uh, I mean it's great great that you have sent this to me, and uh, we'll be able to discuss this tomorrow actually uh, because today it's Wednesday. And yeah, next one is how happy or unhappy are you with various aspects of your life? Um, and it's your parents they ask about whether you're very unhappy, one, or very happy with your parents. And uh, uh, boy and girl is included as independent variable. 
whether you smoke or not, <coughs> sorry, whether you drink, uh, w whether you ever drink any types of alcoholic drinks, um, whether you've been affected by, uh, yeah, depressed actually, not been affected at all, been affected a great deal, and whether you, uh, how, here are some statements uh, the, about your relation to your parents, how true are they to you that my, um, the adults in my family often argue with each other. So it's really, really uh, yeah, this independent variable is about whether the parents argue. Okay, interesting, absolutely. Um, so yeah, and the student has also uh, included some, some, uh, some, uh, some, some, some interpretation, which is nice, uh, but I'll make my own interpretation. So, okay, uh, this is uh, a feeling of happiness with parents. As for those and um, smoking, the degree of smoking is included as the independent variable. Um, and smoking is measured as one never smokes to five smokes every day. So what does it tell, tell us? Well, when you go one unit scale unit up on smoking, you go towards, I smoke every day. Or, I mean, you, you people who smoke really, uh, the feeling of happiness with the parents decreases by, because it's minus, 0 0.189 scale units. And it, it can be generalized to the population because it's significant. Uh, I, don't, I mean, you don't need to have the like the p-value. Like it, it it's it's okay with just the, the with just um, the stars, or you can have the, the p-value like this, uh, but you don't need both. Um, so what does it tell? Well, uh, again, when you go one scale unit up on the degree of smoking, the uh, satisfaction with parents uh, goes down zero. 0.189 uh, scale unit. So it means that kids who smoke a lot or sm smoke are less happy with their parents compared to kids who don't smoke or smoke less than every day, so to speak. Uh, and this would be the mean happiness uh, uh, with parents for those who don't smoke if I never smoked was was zero, but in this model it's one, it's one to five, so I cannot interpret this constant in a meaningful way, then you have to, you have to, to recode it zero to four and not one to five. Uh, and that would be the answer. It's totally okay that you cannot interpret the constant in a meaningful way, it's just, just writing it uh, that you cannot interpret it in a meaningful way. And then you have the stepwise regression with a perception of feeling of happiness with parents. And you have, uh, this is uh, smoking, uh, I mean, same result, uh, smoking every day uh, is the highest value. So people who smoke, smoke a lot, they are less happy with their parents. Uh, the, uh, and uh, and uh, uh, argue, uh, whether they are, the adults argue in the family. Uh, not true is the highest value. It's very nice to have this uh, information because this, what does this tell me? Well, controlling for smoking, those control for smoking, the, 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 or the frequency of smoking, those who say that it's not true, or you go towards that it's not true at all, because this is, this is a scale variable. It goes from, uh, uh, um, it goes from very true to not true at all. So you go, you go, you go through towards not true at all. They are very happy with their parents because uh, as you go one scale unit up on uh, on the, the this uh, independent variable, uh, the dependent variable increases with zero point three seven zero scale units, which is towards being very happy with your parents, which means uh, that those who, who, I mean, those who, who, um, who have parents that don't argue with one another are more happy with their parents. I mean, not so strange. Uh, and it can be generalized to the population uh, because it's significant. And I think in this model also, uh, the student have included uh, 
gender and boy is the reference category so this is the difference between boys and girls so you when you go from boy to girl uh, uh, then it, it, it looks as if the dependent variable uh, decreases uh, somewhat but it's not significant so it means that you cannot uh, generalize to the population and this is probably equal to zero or there's a huge chance that it's probably equal to zero so you say there there is no significant difference between boys and girls and in all of these models I just have to say since zero is not a valid value on the on the on the independent variables you cannot interpret the constant and uh, yeah so this is the uh, this is uh, this is the value for smoking uh, or the results for smoking in model 3. It goes somewhat down as we see because uh, yeah, you can, uh, the student controls for how often the parents argue uh, and what they're affected by depression, drinking alcohol and gender. And I mean, it might not be the fact that people smoke or smoking can be, I mean, it can be a sign of of, of being, uh, I mean, uh, kind of in, in opposition to your parents, but it might not be the, the, the just smoking. I mean, some of the effect of smoking might, it might be that we overestimate the effect of smoking because it can also be, for example, that they are affected by depression. So it might be that the, the fact that it goes somewhat down when you control for depression is that 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 it, it's it's the people that that sm that smoke they are also more depressed so we overestimate the the effect of smoking when we only include smoking but when we control for depression then it goes somewhat down because these people who smoke they might also be a bit more depressed and when we actually control for depression uh, we 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 also uh, get that part of the picture. So that's, that's why some of you who ask, okay, why, do, why, do, why does the coefficient go down when I include more variables? Well, it's because you add more pieces of the puzzle. Those who smoke might also be more depressed. And when you conf control for depression, uh, the, the effect of smoking goes down uh, because you see that there th those who, uh, who are uh, more affected by depression, they are also more um, less happy with their parents. And I'm not going to say uh, uh, like when you go one scale unit up on depression, uh, the, the, uh, the, 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 the deep end variable decreases by 0 0.178 scale units because I mean, uh, this is the same all over and all over, all over again. So it's the same as you go one up, uh, what, uh, what happens with the, with the deep end variable. I'm going to to do it a bit more, but this will be a long video if I'm going to in it to to take uh, all these uh, yeah uh, say it again and again and okay drinking alcohol has no effect uh, or it, it, there's no difference uh, uh, according to how much you drink alcohol because it's not significant and again there is actually a difference between the genders so when you call, control for depression and uh, uh, depression and uh, argue with parents and so on and so on. This is significant because this is smaller than 0 0.05. Uh, so this is significant. So is it, there's then girls actually are more, are more happy with their parents than boys. When you control for, for smoking, uh, when you control for arguing with parents, and depression and drinking alcohol but I, I think it's really because you control for this depression variable actually uh, because uh, yeah that's that's why uh, gender has an effect in this model okay so this is the interpretation of this uh, this model as you probably also noticed that I mean uh, when you get into the diff when you get into why does uh, a variable goes down the co a coefficient go down or why does some uh, some variables go from being non significant to significant i mean that's that's when we get into the theoretical discussion of regression analysis it's really how does everything fit in what is what is uh, how how what is the 
what what is the puzzle here and i mean there's no then then everything is about interpretation right and that's why it's i mean statistics is really really fun because um it's really about testing theories and 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 uh, and i mean uh it's really about uh making the argument for why things is the way they are so okay the next model expectation of people to do well in school uh one is totally agree uh four is totally disagree so uh high value uh, on this one is that you don't feel that people are expecting a lot of you okay which is interesting so education of parents uh, okay one is uh, yes and uh, two is no uh, i would recall this into a dummy because uh, uh, well spss automatically says this uh, puts this as the reference category because it's one so it puts this to zero but to to have control i would put this to one uh, zero and this to one uh, but uh, okay financial situation of uh, the parents one we have been well off the whole time five we have been badly off the whole time i would turn this because uh, it's a bit strange i would also turn this actually because it's yeah but but it's it's totally fine uh, i mean it's uh, it's uh, absolutely uh, possible to interpret number of books uh, goes from one no books to six more than a thousand books uh, going to university yes and then three don't know i mean these are questions about the future and i mean it's yes and uh, no don't know this cannot be included as a this is not the ordinal level variable uh, uh, this is a nominal level variable so um, i would should suggest for the student in this case to 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 recode this as a dummy variable i would actually turn this i would uh uh, do this into a dummy variable uh, I would uh, keep this I would this is okay keep this but I would also do this into uh, these two into dummy variables and say uh, one is one and two two and three which, which is no and don't know it put to zero so then you say yes going from don't know to no uh, don't know and uh, no uh, to looking at those who say yes going to university and the same yes being employed so I mean it's all about interpretation and that's why i'm so that that's why i'm stressing you how are these me variable measured because you have to interpret the results according to how they are how they are measured okay but anyway um the bivariate regression analysis uh ex with the expectation of people to do well in school as the dependent variable and now it's four totally disagree i mean that's the upper value so uh what does it say well when you go one scale unit up on the financial situation of parents the dependent variable increases by 0 0.032 scale units and it can be generalized to the population but uh so this means that there's an increase in the dependent variable uh, but this is a bit tricky to interpret because the financial situation is that it goes towards bad uh, when you have a high value uh, i would turn it because it's easier to to say that it goes from bad to high but anyway so it goes towards bad when you you look at the at the, um, at the, the values one is the low value right but that means that they have been well off all the time and five is the high value five is the high value i mean spss use these values when they uh when spss reports the results so i have to i have to interpret these values as high and low when i interpret this coefficient but i have to look at what does one mean and what does five mean so this means that okay uh, as the financial situation uh, those who have a bad financial situation they are tend more to disagree that they uh, that people have expectations to them in school okay so people who come from homes that are worse off uh, tend to think that they uh, the people um, expect less of them yeah uh, and this goes also in model one uh, uh and the number of books not significant so as you go one scale unit up on books uh 
it does not increase uh, the 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 uh, it, it, there's no difference according to the number of books uh, uh, as for the value on the dependent variable and the same in this model but gender there's a difference uh, in according to gender and what was high well uh, no okay uh, the student has not included the gender actually so uh, but i think boys is one and the girls are two so boys would be the reference category and um, so this is this is uh maybe it's girls saying that uh that that people do not expect that much of them controlled for the financial situation numbers oh well, i mean I mean, this illustrates the fact that I have to know the I have to know the value on gender, and also these two variables are not included in the model. I assume they should be. So, yeah, redo this one. Uh, I would I would I would um, uh, advise to redo this one. Uh, but the interpretation is, and it would and it would substantially uh, make it easier if you turn this scale around. So it goes from totally disagree is one to four totally agree easier much easier to interpret okay i have to rush ahead because there are so many so many uh, models to interpret um well okay uh in this model the student has have looked at the use of a doctor or, uh, or i mean a physician uh, and emergency ward and so it's really the use of uh, medical um, um, yeah, medical staff, so to speak. Um, uh, uh, yeah, and uh, one is never, or and, and five is six or more times. Um, and uh, this is neatly and nice done. Uh, gender is. Uh, is zero for boys and one for girl uh, the school level is zero for secondary and one for high school a use of hush or cannabis is one for never or five is 11 more times use of drug is one never and 11 more times yeah and performance drugs the same so the bivariate regression analysis includes the use of hush or cannabis um, and this shows that really as you go one scale unit up on the use of hush or cannabis you go from one to two for example then the dependent variable the use of a normal doctor increases by 0 0.089 scale units and it's significant so you can generalize it to the population uh, and uh, yeah uh, it, it really shows that People who have been using a lot of or or have used uh, the cannabis uh, quite a few times, they go have all they are they also go have been more to the doctor so to say. yeah more to the doctor so so those who haven't used the uh, 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 hush or cannabis that much, they have been less to a normal doctor, uh, and this constant could have been interpreted substantially if zero was the lowest value on the use of hush or cannabis but it's not so it cannot be interpreted uh, substantially okay this is nice uh, this is nice and uh, structured well um so and then the student have made a sum variable cons consisting of the use of a doctor and the emer emergency ward so it's the like some uh, health ser uh, health um, care services uh, or health services uh, and what does it show well uh, uh, in this first model actually the student have included two mod uh, two two um, two two uh, variables so it's harsh or cannabis and other drugs and it shows that uh, controlled for yeah con uh, controlled for uh, cannabis the uh, Yes, so the student uh, shows that in this uh, model, um, control for the, uh, since the student have included uh, other drugs, uh, 
the uh, the effect of uh, using of cannabis uh, is controlled for the use of other drugs and uh, and it shows that as you go one uh, scale unit up on the use of ha- harsh or cannabis uh, the uh, use of health ser- health care services uh, increases with with 0.0, uh, 0. Um, yeah and uh, the uh, use of uh, other drugs uh, yeah the use of other drugs um, uh, when you go one scale unit up on the use of other drugs uh, the use of healthcare services increase with 0.107 scale units and it can be generalized to the population because both or both these uh, uh, differences according to the use of uh, uh, hush or cannabis and other drugs can be generalized to the population because it's significant uh, and the constant could have been interpreted uh, substantially if zero was a uh, value on the or a valid value on the deep and variable but it's not it starts at one okay uh, and then we have the second model these they these are interpreted in the same way but now we control for gender as well and this is the the, the difference uh, uh, between boys and girls controlled for the use of hush or cannabis and other drugs so what does it shows well it shows that uh, the difference between boys and girls so it shows that actually when you go from boys which is the reference category the student haven't included what is the reference category here it's easier if you include it's easier if you include what is the highest value highest value what is the reference category for dummy variables and so on and so on also for yourself because uh, then then it's easier to interpret but and now i know that boys are the low are the reference category so this is the difference between boys and girls and it says that well it shows that when you go from looking at zero to one looking from looking at boys to looking at girls the um use of healthcare services increases on mean by 0, uh, 0.203 scale units and it can be generalized to the population because it's significant and uh, in the last model the student have included the uh, dummy for school level and i mean uh, high, secondary school is zero high school is one but it's there is no significant difference when you control for these other variables okay so yeah i'm just going to see how many models more we have left well quite a few actually uh yeah i will do this a bit more yeah uh i will actually i think uh i will do one more uh and then i'll the this next one I, I, I include in uh, another video, uh, so they will be a bit shorter. Um, okay, so I'll do I'll do one more. Um, yeah, I've done this already. Uh, so bivariate analysis with the frequency of physical exercise as dependent variable. So this student have been looking at how often uh, one exercise. Uh, and uh, as far as I can see, I have, the student haven't included how these variables are measured, but I, I'll do my best to interpret anyway. Uh, so the time uh, spent on homework and school-related activities outside school, uh, since I don't know how this is measured, it's a bit intriguing, but I would assume this goes from uh, spending not so much time to spending a lot of time uh, on activities uh, time spent on on homework and school related activities so I, I would i would assume this is uh, spending a lot going from not spending so much time on homework and school related activities to spending a lot of time uh, and it shows that as you go one scale unit up on this variable the deep end variable increases with 0. 0.18 scale units uh, and i don't know how physical exercises is, uh, is measured but i would assume it's something from one uh, not uh, uh, not active at all to uh, zero uh, 
uh, or uh, to uh, to three d four maybe five very active or something and uh, the p value is uh, less than five percent so this can be generalized to the population and this would be the mean on the dependent variable if this the independent variable zero is a valid value on the dependent variable but i assume that it's not uh, yes and here i've also seen that the student have uh, um, included first two variables in the first model no three and then also uh, i think uh, added a fourth and so on and so on i mean you can as i as i shown you in for example for example this model you can you can write the results uh according like you don't have to you don't have to paste these under and and then kind of add yeah it's no you, you, you can have time spent on spent on homework uh i mean this and this is the same variable and it's the same variable here also so it, I, the result could be like it could be like going uh it could you can just in, it, you could write all the results for time spent on homework like on this line and then everything on time spent on looking at screen on this line and so on and so on for all the models because then it would be easier for me to read but let me interpret the last model um here so Time spent on homework outside school increases the dependent variable. Control for time spent on watching film and TV series. So, um, not just surprisingly, as you go one up on the time spent on watching TV and films, uh, the 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 uh, the uh, physically active physical activity uh, dependent variable decreases by zero point one six three scale units because it's negative and it's significant. Uh, but time uh, read on uh, spent on reading uh, books is not significant. The same with playing uh, video games or playing games on the mobile or tablet. Uh, but time spent on social media is uh, significant. So those who spend a lot of time on social media is more physical active, and also those having a car, uh, family conditions. I'm not sure how this is interpreted and uh sex of the respondent i'm not sure how this is measured but this is i compared to the other uh, coefficients uh, i'm a bit uh, yeah and also by looking at the results here i think this might be wrong so because when i look at, at this uh, this is probably the difference between maybe boys and girls uh, i don't know if boys or girls are the high value but this would be then the difference between boys and girls uh so so let's say that boys is the low value and the girls is the high i don't know uh, then when it goes from from boys to girls the physical activity or the dependent variable decreases by 0 0.193 scale units okay this will be the first uh, and i will include the other uh other uh other uh uh, interpretations in, in my second uh, video uh, starting with status school so a student have been looking at status 